We are already at the territory of Lubic 1, the another part of Duga 1 Raider. Uh, locals, by the way, call it Rasudov 2, uh, by the name of the small village nearby. Yeah, we're just kind of in the middle of the forest, but uh, a few minutes ago we crossed the fence. And right now we're about 200 meters away uh, from the command center. We are now on a kind of small field in the middle of the forest. It looks like it has nothing to do with the antenna, but some things that we can find over here on the ground like this, like the isolators, they are definitely from Duga. They are this, not, they are, looks the same like the one at Chernobyl 2. Yeah, so it was probably somewhere here, but it was cut down. That's why we can see it. So we'll try to find uh, the base of it from concrete where the poles were actually standing. Yeah, but everything is missing right now. Okay, this is definitely part from Duda. Uh, also different kind of isolation. So, so we found the base part. Yeah, we can see that it was cut down completely. Yeah, there is one deeper. Um, here, you can see it on the ground. Yeah, everything was stolen. Luckily, uh, the Duga 1 Raider in Chernobyl 2 didn't meet the same fate. Yeah. Because of the accident, partially. Because of the closed territory and more limited access over there. Yes, yeah, so here. Yeah, a lot of money were looted. Just sending how it looked like. So we are on a hill over here. So long, long, long hill. Uh, same as we have in Chernobyl 2. This this is the part where the stabilizing, stabilizing cord, uh, which was stabilizing all the vibrators, or all the transmitter, it was here. This is the main part. Yeah, the main base cut off. So it was facing that direction, was facing north sending the signal over the North Pole. And here is the back part, yeah, just supporting one. It's a bit deeper here in the forest. Yeah, you can, you can see it over here. You can see it was facing that direction, yes, it was holding main part. Also, everything missing. And now, yeah, we're leaving the location of the antenna part. Mass over here, you can't even see anything. It's an identical copy of the one that we see in, in Chernobyl 2. Yeah, so this is this is the main part. This is the main entrance. Yeah, but it's it's guarded. Right now there is a guard, so who makes sure that no one goes inside. It's amazing to see same command center as it is there. Uh, yeah, even the doors are the same, crazy, the same wooden doors. So it's identical here, uh, but we're missing a cable corridor over here. So at the original Duga there is the big corridor which actually was used to spread the cables uh, between two antennas, between two receivers, the high frequency and the low frequency, and there is no building over here. So we, we live in the place with the same concrete road as it is on Chernobyl 2. I have some nice Tron shots from top. I didn't go too close in order not to disturb the guard because there is also a very nasty small dog which starts to bark all the time. So yeah, we're leaving. We have a lot of walking right now. Also same turn as it is in uh, Chernobyl 2. Also right before turns. So you didn't have the straight view. Probably the same reason. Yeah, same concrete road. And yeah, we have a lot of walking and yeah by the way also here the workers who were working here at this Lubich 1 transmitter station they were not living directly near the antenna yes yeah? so the city for them 
isn't located right away near the antenna, like in Chernobyl 2, it's a bit farther. It looks like we're going to pass it on the way out, but uh, it's, it is in use right now for a different purpose. Main entrance to the territory of the Raider. Yes, yeah, so we simply went around. This look like power supply and transformers. Uh, similar ones are actually located near the Duga Raider. So I think this is the same thing over here. And yeah, we would simply continue going that direction. This is old settlement for the transmitter, but right now it is used for different purpose. Yeah, there is checkpoint, but there's no one here. This is territory. I saw some people farther, but I don't know uh, if other military or not. So I won't go too deep. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it was here, a bit farther than, than in Chernobyl too. This is the migration center, as they called it, but this is basically a prison for illegal immigrants. I have no idea who in his mind would ever try to illegally immigrate to Ukraine, but apparently there are people. And it's also partially on the base of the old settlement for the Duga Raider, yeah, for the transmitter part. There are original buildings from the civil part of the Raider. Yeah, we can see they are very similar to the ones, they are identical to the, to the ones in uh, Chernobyl 2. Yeah, so the ones you saw before as the part of the migration center, they were renovated, so it's hard to recognize them. But these ones are definitely not in use anymore. Yeah, so they're still standing. Looks like I'm basically again in in Chernobyl to finally some connection with the radar. So here we have transmitters. Yeah. Same as it was at Duga Raider in Chernobyl. Some leftover parts were used to make a playground or some nice things. Okay, so we are finally back on the main road. We walked a lot from Lubitsch 1 and now it's time to find a bus. Hopefully it's coming to Chernihiv in around 10-15 minutes from here.